we think of Homer's Troy, we imagine it in fantasy hues of times long gone. And yet the latest research conducted at one of the world's leading mathematicians proves it to us irrefutably. What we know is the Trojan War was in fact the First Crusade. We are talking about obvious parallels between two major military campaigns separated by millennia. The Trojan War and the First Crusade are but different names of one and the same military campaign. The former ended up in the distant past due to the blatantly erroneous chronology that we use. One that was created by the Jesuits in the 16th-17th century. This chronology, regarded by many as the absolute historical truth, contains many gaps and repetitions. Most major historical events as well as personalities and even places have several phantom duplicates arbitrarily dated to various antediluvian epochs and presumed completely unrelated to one another. The Trojan War and the First Crusade are a perfect example. Our entire view of the so-called antiquity and the Middle Ages changes radically. History becomes streamlined and unencumbered by all the Dark Ages lost empires and mystical cyclic patterns that afflict the official version. Classical Greek polis become one with the medieval crusader states. Ancient Egyptian paganism identifies as Coptic Christianity, and historical Troy, Constantinople and Jerusalem turn out to be the same city on the Bosporus, which we know as Istanbul. Jesus Christ was born in 1053 AD and crucified in 1086 AD. Crusaders did not wait for 1,000 years to punish the tormentors of Jesus. There isn't a single Crusader map in existence that would locate Jerusalem in Palestine, or indeed give us any detailed information about that region. Unlike modern historians, medieval cartographers knew the location of the Holy Land perfectly well. Sounds absurd? Not if you have read history, fiction or science? By Professor Anatoly Fomenko a brilliant mathematician and a true scientist to the core. Unconfined by dogmatic thinking and determined to get to the bare historical truth at any cost. How much do we know about the Goths? Those fortunate enough to keep at a sound distance from the historical discourse shall probably think of those numerous Bela Lugosi impersonators who live by their hairspray and their macabre aesthetics. Those who did devote some of their time to tearing through all the insurmountable dogma and inexplicable lacunae in place of vibrant ages and civilizations that one finds in history textbooks will doubtlessly think of Jordanes and Cassiodorus in this respect, and recollect the Goths to have been a group of Germanic tribes who swarmed Europe in the alleged 3rd century AD, and alleged is a key word here, to rape, pillage and terrorize. But how Germanic were they really, and when exactly have they been introduced to us as such? According to Anatoly Fomenko, one of the world's leading mathematicians, the Goths were Slavic through and through. This alone would fail to make a piece of sensational news, however, Fomenko really finds sensational telling us that the Gothic tribes were none other but the biblical nations of Gog and Magog. That might sound like nonsense, after all, don't the Old Testament events date back to times immemorial? However, once you delve into the long-awaited English translation of Fomenko's history, fiction or science, you shall very soon discover that official history is absolutely and completely without competition in terms of making nonsense sound like science. History, fiction or science? is a phenomenal and unprecedented scientific experiment since neither state-of-the-art methods of mathematical statistics nor astronomical data have ever been applied to history before. One would expect such a procedure to yield interesting results, but interesting doesn't remotely approach the results of Fomenko's research.
ancient and medieval history transform into a phantom, leaving us with the historical period of a single millennium to encompass everything from Jesus Christ who is proved to have lived in the 11th century AD to today. Definitely nonsense and positively impossible, you say? Just wait till you get infected with the new chronology mem, and mark our words, looking back at your vehement support of consensual history will be most embarrassing indeed. This book will change your entire perception of history forever. What if ancient Rome, Greece and Egypt were invented during the Renaissance? What if the Old Testament was a rendition of events in the Middle Ages? What if Jesus Christ was born in 1053 and crucified in 1086 AD? Sounds unbelievable? Not after you've read History, Fictional Science by Anatoly Fomenko, the leading mathematician of our time.